Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. Unfortunately, today's game is a bit of a shorter one. I've been busy decorating for the holidays, and oh man, I did not realize how long it takes to put up Christmas lights on a house. And while I'm still a bit sore, I'm excited for the holidays, and getting some games in of Commander with my brothers. But question to the viewer, do you have any holiday traditions? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, have you heard the news? Your favorite CDH YouTube channel has released some cool merch. And if you're interested in picking up some sweet new apparel, come check us out. Also, if you like what you see, consider joining our Patreon, as with your help, we can keep producing the videos you enjoy. And if you want to play with us, hop on our Discord. We have an ever-growing community that loves to talk MTG or whatever else strikes our fancy. And we'd love to meet new people. Alright, block there, kill that, oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off, we have Zing on Urza, Lord Protector. Urza is back, now in white. This is an Azorius Dramatic Scepter list, using Urza's cost reduction for both artifacts, instants, and sorceries. So you can hold up extra interaction, and along with the ever-present threat of melding Urza, this is a great new commander from the Brothers War. Next up is Kit, who has brought Jora, otherwise known as Cheerios. The deck gets his name from the sheer amount of zero drops run. This is a storm list that's similar to Anya Madness. The deck really churns through its list, as with Jorah you get a draw off each artifact, and it can actually go off the turn it casts its commander. In the third spot is Hidden Planet X, playing Thrasios Tevish. This is Tentacle Hulk, it's a mid-range combo deck whose goal is to use Natural Order for a Protean Hulk, and then sacrifice it to Tevish. Also, being in blue-black you have access to Thassa's. And if you can't combo immediately, you get two different value engines in both Thrasios and Tevish, really letting you grind the game away. And bringing up the rear is Zay on Minsk, Beloved Ranger. This version of Minsk is a proactive Hulk deck that seeks a cheap Protean Hulk or Academy Rector into play. It then utilizes Minsk's Sacrifice ability to go for a game-winning combo. The deck also can utilize Dockside and Meal to make an infinitely large board for beating your opponents to death with. And without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Kid actually does have to mulligan down to 5 for this one. Zing starts off the game by cracking a Scalding Tarn for a Tundra, casting a Jeweled Amulet before he goes searching for his land. Kid has a basic island, hidden as an untapped undergrowth stadium. Zay plays a City of Brass and a Mana Crypt, with Zing charging his amulet with a blue. Zing goes to his turn and plays an island. He uses his amulet mana for a blue and casts commander, Urza, Lord Protector. Kid has a gemstone cavern and casts a talisman of creativity. Hidden shocks in a breeding pool and casts an oof for two. Zay does respond by flashing in an Avon Mind Sensor. And after the bird resolves, Zing is pretty quick to ruin Hidden's day with a force of will, exiling a pact of negation. Unfortunately, Hidden was banking on that oof and passes the turn. Zay is safe from his crypt and then casts an outbound liberator. He has a pretty nice Gaius Cradle as land and uses it to cast a Sylvan Safekeeper. He then heads the combat and sends the Avon at Hidden for two. Zing plays a polluted delta and decides not to risk the Avon lottery, ending his turn with a Mox Amber. Kid taps two for a Grim Monolith and then a Phyrexian Walker a Tormod's Crypt, and a Fountain of Youth. I did think it was strange of him for emptying his hand before the Jora, but it makes sense when he follows us up with a Windfall for a fresh new hand. There is one response as Zing casts a Mystical Tutor. He finds an Intuition to put on top, and the Windfall then resolves, with everyone discarding and drawing 6. Although Hidden was sad as he had to reanimate to get his Oof back if he could have just untapped. Kid then plays a basic mountain and casts a jeweled lotus, which lets him cast Jora. I don't know, Zing, maybe you should have let me keep that oof. Kid then casts a Cathar shield, triggering Jora. He then casts a spider silk net, drawing a card, and keeps going with an unkicked ever flowing chalice. I won't be mentioning the Jora triggers, but they are happening. Then an Urza's bobble. Keeping it going, Kid then casts a hangerback walker for zero and a Lodestone Bobble. Finally ending his turn, cracking his bobble to look at the top of Zing's library, not liking what he sees. 
Hidden untaps and kid gets the draw. Hidden doesn't have a land but does have a mana crypt and a mystic remora. The fish resolves and Hidden is still lacking a lot of colored mana unfortunately and ends his turn with a viscera seer. Zay takes 3 from his crypt and has a bountiful promenade as land. He casts a mox diamond letting Hidden drop and discards a scalding tarn. He then taps it for a red and casts his commander Minsk, beloved ranger. The ranger resolves and on ETB creates a boo token. He then ends his turn sending the Aven back at Hidden for 2. And at his end step, Zing charges his amulet again. Zing has command tower and wants to make a deal with Hidden to get a card from his intuition. Although the table does remind him that the Aven is still in play before he actually can cast the card. So instead he casts a sculpting steel, giving another card to Hidden and having the artifact enters a copy of Zay's mana crypt. Zing then casts a Lauren of the Third Path. Although Hidden ends up forcing it as he doesn't want to lose his fish, especially with a Jorah at the table. Hidden exiles a Fierce Guardianship to do so, and Zing then passes his turn. Kid plays a Command Tower and takes one to cast an Artificer's Assistant. He follows that up with a Mana Vault, giving a card to Hidden and triggering his bird. He scries one to the bottom and then casts a Wheel of Fortune. He gives a card to Hidden and the wheel resolves. On a side note, Hidden actually was holding a Force of Negation and debated casting it to stop the wheel. However, he didn't have any lands or ramp in his hand, and while he did have a handful of action, he didn't think it would have the mana to actually use it. So he lets it through. Everyone then discards and draws 7, with Kid then casting a Shield Sphere. Zing then responds with a Chain of Vapor on Jorah, giving a card to Hidden, and the Jorah is bounced. Kid then chooses to copy the spell by sacrificing a land to bounce his mana vault, and then Hidden's Mystic Remora. Kid then exiles a Simeon Spirit Guide for a red, and then casts the Bounce Mana Vault. Although Zay responds by courting for 4, with Kid firing back with a hard cast Fierce Guardianship to counter it. The Vault then resolves and is tapped to help cast an Is It Signet. Kid scries another to the bottom and uses his Signet for mana, and casts a Chrome Mox. He imprints a Time Twister, and with the last of his mana, recasts Jorah. Still not done yet, he casts a Briber's Purse, scrying one to the bottom, and then he realizes he should have been greedier with that Chain of Vapor to reset his mana rocks, finally ending his turn there. With Zay using his floating mana to sack his liberated to destroy Tormod's Crypt, and Kid sacrificing it to then exile Zay's graveyard. Hidden is safe from his crypt and shocks in a watery grave. He recasts his fish and decides to pass, discarding a card due to hand size. Zay untaps and is saved from his crypt. He shocks in a stomping ground and tries to cast a Grand Abolisher. Both Zing and Kid have no responses as Hidden flashes in an Oppo Agent, and he has to hope that this is enough to stop Zay. The Agent and the Abolisher then resolve, with Zay following that up with the swords on the Oppo Agent, exiling the Agent and gaining Hidden 3 life. Zay then casts an Arbor Elf and taps his Cradle for 6 green, to cast a Natural Order. He sacrifices the elf to get a protean hulk, and then activates minx to give the hulk zero toughness. With the death trigger, he grabs an allosaurus shepherd and a karmic guide, with the guide bringing the hulk back only to be minxed again. This time he grabs a felidar guardian and a collector oof. The cat flickers the guide to bring the hulk back and is sacked again, this time finding the kiki jiki. And now with the felidar and kiki, he can create infinite hasty cats and take the table out. Game review. Well, it was nice seeing some new decks compete. I know the game was on the shorter side, but each deck did get to do its thing. Although maybe Hiddens didn't have the strongest showing, but I think he had a chance if he had countered Kid's Wheel of Fortune. He definitely didn't realize how much card advantage Georgia generates, and with Kid having only a few cards left in hand, that really would have stopped him for quite a while. As for card advantage, Zing was also a little short on it. He did have a nice start, and the Urza's cost reduction helped with his empty hand. Unfortunately, he needed either a fish or a Ristic to help him keep the cards flowing. And as for Zay, it was a good game for him. His Aven shut Zing down, and Kid wheeled Hidden's counter magic away, letting Zay blow up his graveyard hate and go off. He even had the swords on Hidden's Oppo Agent, but that's just how some games go. And while this one was short, we did get a couple games in, and those will surely show up in the future. And thanks for everyone that played, and hope to see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. 
I just wanted to let you know that we have a TCG affiliate link. And if you ever see a card you want to try or are inspired to brew something new, use our link when purchasing and we'll receive a small portion of the sale. This is a great way to support the channel. And if you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps us keep making videos. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.